Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Liv from Thrifty Trendy Moms. Uh, this is my second Walmart I bought a haul. So um, everything you see here was $4.74 out of pocket after coupons and after rebates. Before coupons and rebates, total was $46.99. I had a total of $18.50 in manufacturer's coupons that I used in store, which brought my out of pocket at store to $28.49. I received $23.75 in rebates from Ibotta, leaving my total out of pocket after coupons and after rebates to $4.74 for everything shown here. So, First thing that I got was the Carefree Peony Liners. So these two, I bought them together because the coupon was for $2 off of two. You can buy multiples of them, I believe up to five of each, but I only wanted to do this once because this has been on Ibotta for, I believe the past three weeks and I've done it every time. So I, I really don't need these. I was just trying to hit my um, level bonus. So I got these two. The original was priced at $2.62. The ActiFresh was priced at $2.64. Both of them together were $5.26. I had that $2 off of two manufacturer coupon. Brought my total down to $3.26 out of pocket, which I paid in store. I then submitted my receipt for the Carefree ActiFresh for 50 cents on Ibotta and then for a dollar rebate on Ibotta for the original. Since I did these together, I received an extra dollar bonus from Ibotta for purchasing both of these items. I also submitted my receipt to check out 51 for the, re for the uh, peony liners. They were, um, it was a maximum of one. So I just submitted it, it just took it off of the rebate for one of them. So total out of pocket for both of those was free plus a 24 cent money maker. So that's, that's actually a pretty good deal for liners. Okay, next I got the Fabrice in wash odor eliminator. Now this thing right here was kind of pricey. It's actually 866 at my store and I used a $4 off manufacturer coupon found in the 617 Smart Source. So total out of pocket at store was $4.66. I submitted my receipt to Checkout 51 for a $4 off rebate, making this 66 cents. I've never used this before and I'm not sure if I will use it. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I use right now has some kind of like odor eliminator. Um, well, I think that every detergent has an odor eliminator, but I guess this is the extra little bit more if your clothes is really smelly. I'm not sure. So um, that next thing that I got was the Huggies Natural Care Wipes. So these were $1.84 at Walmart. I used a 50 cent off printable coupon. I'll leave the link down below. Left the price ended up being 134 at store. I submitted the receipt for a dollar rebate on checkout 51, leaving these to be 34 cents after coupons and after rebates. Okay, so I also got the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. These are actually the cheaper ones that I have been looking for. Um, I was actually able to find them. So these were priced at 246 each. So I bought two, total for both was $4.92. I used a $1 off, I used two $1 off manufacturer coupons found in the 722 Smart Source. So I paid at store $2.92 for both of these, but then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta for two $2 rebates. So that's a total of $4 back in rebates from Ibotta, making these free plus a $1.08 money maker. Then I got the Cottonelle Flushable Wipes. Now I didn't want to get the ones in the little container only because they, it's less than the ones in the, in the plastic pack, but that was the only thing I could find at my store. So 
I got these. These were, this was $2.28. I had a 50 cent off coupon from the $7.29 Smart Source. I paid $1.78 for it, but then I submitted for a 50 cent rebate from Ibotta, leaving this to be $1.28. Now that's not the best price. We can actually get these cheaper than that, but I was trying to hit my bonuses and rebates. So um, I went ahead and got this. It was cheaper for me to get this than some of the other items. I also got these stay free pads. So those were $2.53 each. So I bought two of them at $2.53 each. Total was $5.06 for both of them together. There was a $2 off to manufacture coupon found in the $7.22 Smart Source that I used. That's the reason why I bought two. <clears throat> and I paid $3.06 out of pocket at the store. I then submitted my receipt to Ibotta for two 75 cent rebates for the Stay Free. Also submitted my receipt to Checkout 51 for a dollar fifty cash back on the purchase of any Stay Free. Well, I believe it was the it had to be this particular type of Stay Free. I'm not 100% sure, but it had to be Stay Free. So um, after both rebates, I did that since I had done okay. So I ended up getting an extra bonus, a 25 cent bonus from Checkout 51 since I purchased the Carefree and I submitted a rebate for it on Checkout 51 and the Stay Free and I submitted a rebate as well. So I got an extra 25 cent bonus for purchasing these four things together. So that made the Stay Free free plus a 19 cent money maker. I got a repeat of the L Vibe since it reset. I went ahead and bought two of these at $3.97 each. Total was $7.94 for both. I used the $4 off coupon from the 7.8 Retail Me Not. And I ended up paying at store $3.94, but then I submitted to Ibotta my rebate for a $2 off $2 back rebate on the purchase of L'Oreal and that's a limit of one. So total final cost was $1.94 for both of these. I also did the Neutrogena again as well. This time I opted for the shave cream since it was a little bit cheaper. So this was $3.94 at store. I used the $2 off coupon found in the 7-8 Smart stores. I paid $1.93 out of pocket for this, but then I submitted the receipt to Ibotta for a $1.50 rebate back on it, leaving this to be 43 cents out of pocket after coupons and after rebates. So I also got the Mead Five Star folders. These are the, let's see, um, they're kind of like the plastic one. They're really durable though. So I got two of these. These were $1.77 each. I purchased two, so total ended up being, ended up being $3.54 for both. I used a dollar off manufacturer coupon found in the uh, $7.29 Smart Source. So I paid at store $2.54 for two of these. The other one, I have some yogurts on top of it, so I couldn't get off. I didn't want to leave them on the desk. So, um, I paid $2.54 for both. I submitted my receipt to check out $51 for a dollar back on the purchase of two. And I also submitted my receipt to uh, Saving Star for a dollar rebate on the purchase of two as well. So that ended up leaving the final cost to be $0.54 cents for both of these folders. So that's roughly $0.20, $0.27 cents for each folder, which I think is a pretty good deal since these folders are actually the better kind and I also got the Dan and light and fit Greek yogurt it's this one right here so I got this one for I thought it was gonna be a dollar but it ended up being 84 86 cents at the store there was a 50 cent printable manufacturer coupon which is no longer available uh, I didn't even get to print it, so I just wanted, I ended up getting this either way. I was expecting it to be the dollar, but it turned out to be a little cheaper, so it worked out in my favor. 
So I paid 86 cents there at the store, but then I submitted to Ibotta for a 50 cent rebate, leaving this to be 36 cents after, after coupons. I mean, after rebate. So I also got the YoPlay yogurts. I got five of them because the coupon was for 50 cents off of five. They were 54 cents each at the store. So the total for five of them was $2.70. There was that 50 cent manufacturer coupon that you could um, find in the 617 smart source or you could find it on coupons.com. So after that coupon total was 220, I submitted my receipt for, for uh, the yogurts on Ibotta for 75 cents rebate back. I also submitted the receipt for a 50 cent rebate on five for uh, Savings Star leaving the final cost for all five yogurts at 95 cents. So I also, lastly, I did the Bic Whiteout. Now these, there was no rebate for these, but I ended up getting them because they ended up being free plus a three cent money maker for each one that I bought. So I only got two since the coupon is a limit of two. So I purchased two at 97 cents each. Uh, total ended up being two dollar no a dollar ninety four for both. So I used two one dollar off coupons from the seven twenty two Smart Source. Now at Walmart they do give overage, but they don't give month like cash back. So if you are planning on using a coupon that will give you overage, make sure you have something in your basket that will cover it. So these ended up being free plus a six cent money maker. So yeah, that's my Walmart Ibotta haul. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new to Ibotta, I've included my referral link down below in the description box. If you're already familiar with Ibotta and you wanna be on my team, just friend request me and we can be on the same team. But that is my entire Walmart Ibotta haul. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye.